Hello, hello, fam. Welcome. My name is Magda and Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies. But goodie. You guys, today I've been so busy. This face right here is a full face of Sephora makeup I just uploaded today. I'm so excited because I really like how the makeup looked. And I'm like, you know what? Let's not have this makeup go to waste. Let me film another video. <laughs> Milani, look, we're kind enough to send this big old box. Ooh, it looks like this. It brings the eyeshadow sticks and it also brings the lipsticks. You guys know we're doing a full review and a wear test. As always, you guys know I'm going to give you all the information at the end of the video. Oh my God, my hair. That box. Whew. It's huge. There's 12 brand new matte liquid lipstick shades that Milani just released. I will have everything linked down below, but per the usual, I have absolutely nothing on my lips because I want you to see each color individually, how it looks on bare lips, essentially in studio lighting and in daylight, which is how I've always done my lip swatching videos. I'm going to lip swatch everything right now at the beginning. And then towards the end of the video, I give you all the info about them. I'm still thinking about what kind of food I'm going to eat today, but I'm super excited. Okay, so without further ado, let me show you the order we're gonna go in and then let's start the lip swatches. Fam, you know what I'm thinking? We're gonna just go in the order that they came in the box like this. Let me just pull this one out. So the shade names are at the bottom. Oh, wow, that's big. You don't know what shade you have. And this is how it looks. So yeah, I think this is the order we're gonna go in. Kind of lightest to darkest. Let me move this to the sun. But look, oh my god, I am too excited. First one up is 110 Glow Up. Shade 160 vibe. 
because I wasn't feeling it and then my mind changed. So before we get started and really get into it, let me give you some info about these. The new Milani Stay Put Liquid Lip Longwear Lipstick retail for $10. This longwear lipstick glides on the lips with a lightweight, airy, textured, enhanced with moisture-rich avocado oil and vitamin E. This formula sticks around for the long haul for up to 12 hours. They come in 12 wearable, neutral, and buildable bowl. Apply mess-free with the Precision Doe Foot Brush. I've seen these on Milani website they've been on their website for a couple of months but it looks like now they expanded onto Walmart usually drugstore they release products on their website or Ulta before it goes to like the mass public first and foremost these remind me of the MAC liquid lipstick the formula is very thin it's very creamy and it dries down feels a little dry I'm not gonna lie but also all matte lipsticks are going to be drying which is why on this last shade the shade 220 i went in with my a and d ointment this is the lip balm i use daily in the morning at night anytime i wear a matte lipstick just to give the lips a little bit of moisture underneath something that's gonna dry them out also before you use a matte lipstick make sure to exfoliate your lips i forgot to do that and my lips were peeling that happens also because dry formulas tend to just dry your lips out even more the lip exfoliator that i love is 
this one from elf you just like go around and around and around your lips you get that dead skin off and then you're good to go i try to do it once a week but that doesn't happen the shades that i like the most i like them all except for this one glow up and the moment I just feel like they didn't really go well with my skin tone but i really like the rest so 190 and 160 wow i would say those are my favorite i was thinking like this is a dupe this shade's a dupe to the mac the new mac ones but let's see definitely the formula is very similar i would say this is like the closest dupe to the MAC because the MAC has like that drying feel but it's also smooth at the same time. MAC and Milani. Undertones are different but it's kind of there. We're on like the same page right there, you know? These are extremely, extremely pigmented and they dry down fast. That's what I kind of liked because at first, when I tried the first shade out because it's so light, lighter shades are always gonna show more texture on your lips. You can visibly see it. So when I saw that, I was like, oh no, these are gonna be a no. But when I continued to apply them and I just saw how creamy they were and the shades are so so pretty they do dry down they are like your traditional matte lip product it's not like your matte hydrating it's not a velvet matte it's not really a creamy matte it can be a creamy matte but then it dries down to matte and let's see if it transfers a little bit a little bit hold on Oh, I do have the, I forgot I have the lip balm on. So you know what, let me apply another layer and let it dry. Oh, another thing I like, talking about dry, is how fast this dries. And it's not messy because it dries so fast. It's not like the Maybelline Vinyl Lipsticks and also the Superstay Lipsticks. It takes a while for that cream to dry completely down and you can go about your day. You'll also feel that dryness on your lip quickly. So it depends on your preference and what you like. I personally like more a cream matte lipstick, but if you wear something like this, cause it's thick, it's an ointment, and you just top it over, I definitely think it'll help and it'll make your lips look nice and less textured. As you can see, I have a lot of texture on my lips. That's just how my lips are. So matte lipsticks will accentuate that. So keep in mind, if you don't want your lines showing, I would lipstick to lipstick or something more creamier matte of course like anything anything dry will accentuate any sort of texture show you here the swatches in broad daylight because oh my god the pigment here and the undertones i really really like as you can see here on the swatches they are very very different so i really like that that we have a good variety of shades that will go with so many skin tones overall i like these they are doing what they're supposed to do they are creamy they are long wearing hopefully because we're gonna do an e-test and there are mattes what time is it it is dang it's almost six so it's 5 40 let me go get the food and i'll be back i got watermelon food okay i'm so excited i'm starving so i got a platter that brings a bunch of stuff so i can show you two tamales of chipilin for guatemala you guys know in central america if you don't this is a platter that, and it brings a bunch of different things look you see it has like a tortilla underneath mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting you guys. Look how pigmented this lipstick is. It's so pretty. Let me show you if it transferred now that it's been on the lips. Yeah, it does transfer. But it's super pigmented. So this is a taquito. I didn't know, I don't know what this one is. The one just ate. I love Central American cream. There's like a sour cream. Mm, my favorite. The sun is beaming. Now that the time changed, I film later, at least my lip swatches. This is what it has. Garnachitos, enchiladas, taquitos, chuquitos, tamales de chipilin, which I also got, and fried plantain. I don't know. Let me dip it here. Mmm. This is so good. It is bomb. By the way, you guys, if I sounded like I was super far away in today's video, I'm sorry. I need to fix my mic. I need to either bring it closer or figure out what to do. But I have a new makeup desk and it's a lot smaller than the other one I have. Not as wide as the other one. As I'm editing, I'm gonna try to make the sound the best as possible. I want another taquito. Like the lipstick does transfer. Oh, oh no. Okay, my little cosita esta. So oh, good. I had watermelon food with my friend and when we went we got this platter and i completely forgot what she told me each thing was <laughs> and it comes with beet oh yeah it gives it that ump let's wipe look i think it's coming off a little bit it is oh my god yeah you see yeah it's fading and look getting the butt lips like we have a platano you guys know platanos maduros are my favorite Oh my god, the light is changing. As I'm seeing, these are definitely transferring because like they're transferring on my nails. Mm. I have a tamal here. These are the chipilin. Ah! <laughs> my tamal 
Aquí está. I've never had a chipilín. A chipilín tamal. Mm, it's good. It's really good. Some more platano. I'm gonna have to eat these tamales tomorrow. I am tapping out. So is this lipstick. Mm hmm. I think so. The sun is going down. So is my. Not my belly. My belly is doing the opposite of going down, but you know. I've realized with matte lipsticks or lipsticks that are long wear, you just can't eat or really drink. Or if you drink, you have to drink out of a straw. Things will always transfer, you know? And I always try to eat food that one, I normally eat, and two, that's a little bit greasy because grease tends to loosen things up. And we can see. Mm hmm. Let me tap my, my lips one more time. Mm -hmm. It's less, but it's fading for sure. Like if you go out, this just looks faded. You will definitely have to reapply, you know? As of now, it's definitely not surviving Guatemalan food at all. I'm like, oh my God, it's all smeared. But I just wanted to come back before the sun goes. I also ate more tamal because it was just too good. I couldn't stop. So look, it's gone. It's not a bad thing that it didn't survive the wear test. It's totally fine. I did use the ointment underneath, which creates a little bit more moisture in that. That will affect the eat test and the wear test. Is it a bad thing? No, I don't feel like it's clumpy. I don't feel like it's weird. You know how sometimes you have to remove your lipstick and then put it back on? You can add on to what you already have here. I still like them. I think they're great. Let me know your thoughts. You guys, no lie. Look at the lips. It's about nine o'clock. Is it merely looks better i was expecting more to be gone but not at all familia i wanted to come back and show you the next day i'm using the shade 210 it's without the lip balm and look you see how it was transferring yesterday because we had the lip balm definitely lasts longer without a lip balm but then your lips will be a lot drier you know what i'm saying